Hello everyone. Look what I've gone and done. I put a scope on top of my marlin. My old eyes are having a hard time seeing that front side up there. So I figured it's time they get me a scope. <laughs> ah well, you know how it goes. This scope right here is made by Nikon. It's the inline XR. And it's made for a muzzle loading rifle. But I couldn't tell the difference. I looked inside the, at that reticle in there. And I like the way that reticle looked. And I like the way that scope looked. There, on top of that rifle. So I went and I got that scope. That's a real nice scope, I think. That comes with lens covers. Let me move them out of the way there for a little bit. Here it comes with turret covers. Get those off there so we can look at the adjustment turrets. This one up here on tops for elevation. The one here on the sides for windage. And one click at a hundred yards, one click will move the point of impact a quarter inch. Now what I really like about this scope is back here, this diopter setting. When I first looked down through that scope at the reticle, the reticle was real fuzzy. But by rotating this diopter ring back here, I was able to bring that reticle into sharp focus for my eyes. Now once you get this diopter setting back here adjusted for your eyes so that that reticle is in sharp focus, you leave that alone. You don't have to touch it no more. Right here is the power setting for this scope. It's three to 9 power by 40. I really like how tight this power setting ring is. It's not going to move as you're shooting your rifle. I've got this scope mounted with loophole rings on a 336 rail down here. There's a couple of things I had to do to set this scope on top of my rifle. When I first installed that scope, these rings and that 336 rail pretty short on top of this rifle in relation to this scope. And the front of the scope was buttoned into the rear sight. I knocked that rear sight out. You can see the dovetail notch right there. With that gone I've got a quarter inch between the top of that barrel and the bottom of that scope. Another thing I had to do was I had to put this hammer extension on here. Uh, that way I can cock the hammer with my thumb. You can see there's not much clearance between the top of that hammer and the bottom of the rear scope there. So that hammer extension allows you to cock that hammer off to the side there. Now I'm left handed so I've got that hammer extension over there on the left side of the of the rifle. You're right handed you want that hammer extension to come out on this side. That way you can get your thumb of your right hand on that hammer extension. Neat thing about this scope is it has hold-offs. Now Nikon calls that bullet drop compensation. On the lower reticle there's four rings and you raise those rings up into the target and that gives you a longer range to sight on. 
Now I don't shoot past 100 yards so I've got this scope here dialed in at 100 yards. If I ever shoot past 100 yards around here, <laughs> yeah, hard telling. Uh, I won't shoot past 100 yards. There ain't no need for it around here. I like the way the reticle looks inside that scope. Let me show you a picture from their website. They have a program called Spot On where you can put your scope model, the type of cartridge that you're shooting, and the power of the scope setting, and it'll give you the hold off yardage. Let me put that in front of this camera right here and see if you can see that. That's from their website. Their program is called Spot On. Now you can see the four different hold off settings there. This is uh, at three power, 100 yards. Your first hold off is at 245 yards. Your second at 344 yards. Your third at 483. Your fourth hold off ring at 610. And there at the bottom, I'm getting out of screen with the picture, sorry about that. There at the bottom at the tip of the of the reticle there, 715 yards. Now there will never be a reason for me to take a 30-30 cartridge past 100 yards. <laughs> that's, that's me personal. People do it, uh, but me personally, I won't go much past that 100 yards where that, where that crosshair is. Well, that's a pretty neat program. Nikon calls that the bullet drop compensation. Now at the end of the video, I'll show you my target. But when I was lining up that scope with the bore, that was a lot of fun. Not hard to do. They're real easy to do. if you can see this but here's my uh, Marlin 336 and uh, I was fine-tuning the Nikon scope I had put on there here recently not too shabby I keep it there that's a good one This next target, this is uh, this is uh, my AR-15 at 100 yards off the shoulder with the red dot sight. Not too shabby there either. Both these targets were set out at 100 yards, and. Uh, my old eyes can't much see past that, so uh, I try to keep things within 100 yards. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video on that new scope I got there. We'll see you next time.